racism is learned and you need to make the effort to unlearn it. Let me tell you a small story. So I grew up in Budapest and I was brought up with, by my um, very traditional old grandmother and she never left the country in her entire life and i risked the statement but i believe she never met a black person face to face she only met with the chinese the large chinese community who we have in hungary but every time uh, in old movies every time the black person is the criminal on tv so that was her idea black people are criminals they are the bad guys right but my grandmother was very funny because she didn't just speak on, the, uh, on black people. That was the Jewish, that was the Slovakians, the Romanians, the Germans, the French, like whoever came onto the news, she would just do this, shake her head disapprovingly. And I would be like, what? Anyway, at the age of 25, I moved to London and I ended up in East London. I didn't know what that meant at the time, but East London has a large African-American, Caribbean and Asian community. So I was going to work and I ended up being the only white person on the bus at 5 a.m. And I'm like, ooh, my grandmother's words were in my, going through my head that, ooh, I'm not safe. Moving wasn't an option, so I just had to get on with it. I ended up living in East London for a year and a half and I realized as I started working, making friends with all nationalities, that you know what, granny was probably not right. But it's only in um, five years later when I ended up living, uh, uh, living with, in a house, sharing a house with an African American guy and a British Indian guy, my two friends. And we spent the whole nights in whole nights in kitchen in the kitchen talking about uh, topics related to racism, the stereotypes, how we view each other, how they view white people, how we view them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And that they those boys taught me everything and refuted everything that my grandmother taught me. So you know we debated, we 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 laughed, we joked, but we. It was a safe space for me and for any of us to ask questions related to race and experiences and all that kind of thing. So, but if organizations or you want to tackle racism and discrimination in the workplace, you need to create that safe place where people can ask any kind of question without the fear of consequences. Only then you will be able to get your little brain to unlearn all the stereotypes, all the biases and whatever discrimination and racism you have picked up during your upbringing and unlearn and relearn the truth.